Heavy rains this Saturday caused flooding in several sectors of the capital. The road to La Calera remained closed due to a landslide and witnesses reported the death of a woman by drowning. Starting at noon on November 12, heavy rains occurred north of Bogota and in the municipality of La Calera, Cundinamarca. Several landslides on the road linking the capital to this department area, as well as flooding, have left one person dead so far. The Bogota mayor's office ordered the complete closure of the road to La Calera while the water was drained and the boulders and tons of earth blocking some sections were cleared. Residents in the sector reported that due to the heavy flow of water on the road, a woman fell into a puddle and died by drowning. The city government will install an integrated command post to handle emergencies. Users on social networks shared impressive videos about the havoc caused by the rain. Meanwhile, the governor of Cundinamarca, Nicolas Garcia, called for greater agility to the concession in charge of the road between Bogota and La Calera to support the authorities in dealing with this difficult situation. Mayor Claudia Lopez reported that the passage through 7th and 9th streets between the 100th and 116th streets was completely blocked due to the overflow of the Molinos Ravine. The Bogota Fire Brigade was assigned there to open the road as soon as possible. From the Secretariat of the Capital City Government, two more landslides were reported on November 12, one in the El Paraiso sector of Ciudad Bolivar and another in El Refugio, a town in Osmi. In addition, the road to Cerro de Guadalupe has been cleared. According to the governor of Cundinamarca, Nicolas Garcia, so far 68 cities in the department have been affected by the rains in recent days. The road to the municipality of La Calera remains closed from the circumvular road with the 76th road, south-north direction. Whereas from Tasaka there were closures in both directions. Authorities are working to remove the water and sediment carried by the current. Please don't go down that road we will remain closed until we can secure, dry and evacuate for the safety of everyone asked Mayor Claudia Lopez. The person who died on the way to La Calera was traveling in the Capilla sector, kilometer 5, in the middle of the water, when his vehicle gave up on the pressure of the water inside. The force of the current dragged her on her heavy motorcycle to the bottom of the car, while the water level submerged her. Eight agencies had to save her body although they could not save the woman's life, authorities reported that nine people were rescued from the shelter and vehicles stuck between the water and sediment. We are asking for a concession to come immediately with machinery and personnel to be able to restore the lines. All the aid agencies in the Cundinamarca department are already present, both on the road and in the city to be able to quickly deal with the victims, said the governor of the department, Nicolas Garcia. According to the Institute for Hydrological, Meteorological and Environmental Studies IDM, there are red alerts for landslides in the municipalities of Record. Cabrera, Pandit Melgar, Arbilas, Sylvania, Kajika, Zipakira, Tocansipa, Sopo, San Antonio del Tecendoma, Tena, La Mesa, Anapoima, Apulo, Analema, Tokaima, Agua de Dios, Hirarthot, Valletta, Nemema, San Francisco, Tika, La Vega, Caparapi, Sasima, Tobia, Guajuas, Pacho, Villa Gomez, Cuebra de Negra, and Yacopi. Meanwhile, north of Bogota, the La Carrera stream overflowed and water began to fill 7th and 9th streets, between 106 and 113 streets. For this reason, the mayor of Bogota, Claudia Lopez, Bogota Waterways and the District Institute for Risk Management and Climate Change, Itager, has asked residents not to go through that road and take alternative routes, such as the North Highway. Itager warned that, as night fell, it was raining heavily in the cities of Suba, Eusequin, San Cristobal and La Candelaria. Therefore, he asked people in the area to drive with caution.